I've never really done anything like this before on TV. It's a, it's a new venture even for me. But the reason why I agreed to do it is because obviously there's a lot of property development that goes on out there, which is cheap, badly done, not high quality, people doing a pretty low quality product for the biggest profit ever. What we're trying to do here is work with absolute novices who are desperate to be in the property game somehow. I mean, some are, some are wanting to do this because they want to do their own houses up. Some want to get on the property ladder. We've got two guys that you saw in that clip um, from Wales, Ricky and Andrew. They live with their mum and they think they're going to be part of Generation Rent for a long, long time to come. So this is a chance for them to learn from us, not just me, but we've got two other experts, Stuart and Scarlett, learn how to do things in the right way, do the best product, do the best house, make it beautiful, hopefully make a little bit of profit because you put all the hard work in and then possibly buy your own house one day. Yeah, I mean, I, you, we've all alluded to it, the backdrop, is the economy at the moment, isn't it? We don't know what's going to happen with house prices and interest rates and just wages and inflation. I mean, how realistic is what you're doing in this programme to, to real life at the moment? Well, it's very much real life because they are in the real property market and they're out there doing it. I mean, we've set them, we've set them a really ridiculous challenge in some ways. They've got to buy their first property and refurbish it for less than £100,000. Now, if you think the average house price today is £300,000, that's a big ask, and they've never done it before. I guess these people have to completely remove all of that from the decision-making, don't they? Because you have to be really practical. Yes and no. I do think that there's a little bit of head where you've got to be practical and you've got to look at the numbers and you've got to see how much work a house needs. But also, I think having a bit of heart and there's no bad thing. I think we've had many years of property development where it's been a bit bland and it's been a bit boring and magnolia walls and no character. I think people are more savvy now when they're buying a house. They want to see that someone's put a little bit of heart into it as well. You've got kids, haven't you? What, what I have sort of three. Th how old are well, they? They're not really kids anymore. Well, 19, 17, and 15. Well, that's what I was, going, I was thinking. So they're part of this generation. Uh, we've all got kids of that kind of generation who are thinking, how am I ever going to afford anywhere to live? What, what, what's in it for me? What do your kids think of this? So my kids would watch Amazing Spaces because that, that was all tree houses, camper vans, caravans, <laughs> all accessible stuff. When I make like Old House New Home and someone's spending a quarter of a million pounds on their house, my kids are like, Pff, they can't really connect to that. My two boys especially are buzzing about this series, absolutely buzzing. They've seen all the clips go out and they're like, oh my God, it's amazing, it's really exciting. Because they're of that generation where they're thinking they're going to be renting for a long time. They see house prices going crazy. And for them, I think they're tempted to go, do you know what? If I can buy a property, relatively affordable, work hard on it, do it up, make it beautiful, learn a bit from my dad, <laughs> hopefully make a few pennies along the way, and get on the property dad. That's the biggest thing. I mean, do they listen to you? No. <laughs> <laughs> of course not. Definitely not. Never they listen to every other dad apart yeah. from their own. <laughs> yeah, quite. OK, so tell us some of the secrets then. If people want to start doing this, and it is a way for people to perhaps buy their own home for the first time, what things will we learn from watching your programme? A, a massive amount. Uh, we've got people who are buying from auctions, so people are going to learn just how frightening that can be, um, how you deal with estate agents, how you actually market a property, how you value it at the right price. All of that stuff's within the programme as well. From my point of view, it's about the architecture and the design and the building standards and making sure that they do a really good job on them. I mean, your programme today has been brilliant for me because you've just been talking about retrofits and making homes sustainable. Uh, you talked about butterflies as well, by the way, which I'm mad about. I did a butterfly <laughs> house for my kids on Amazing Spaces. You've done it all for you, You've done George. all of it this morning. George is coming. Let's make a programme for Absolutely. you. Absolutely. Um, but most of the people on this series are buying old properties, Victorian, Edwardian properties. They need to be upgraded. They need to be a bit more sustainable, a little bit greener, and much better quality in terms of building. And so that's what I'm always pushing for all the time. There's, the development industry's got a bad reputation, and that's mainly because a lot of people out there do substandard work for a lot of, pro a lot of profits, and that upsets people. Mm. What I'm trying to do with this series is say it's got to be about quality. It's got to be about good, good building practice, good design as well. And then when someone buys that property, they feel proud that they own it. Just coming back to that point about how realistic is it, I suppose I'm thinking there'll be people watching this morning who... Uh, there's nothing in the kind of price range, 100 grand, there's nothing where they live in towns and cities of the country that, 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 that fits that bracket. Where have you chosen to do this? Where, you know, where, where can you still get property? Well, this hasn't been my choice. Yeah. I mean, you remember, we've, we've, 
we cast all the competitors very, very well. And to be honest with you, it sounds like a cliche, I wanted them all to win. Yeah. Genuinely, because they're all really good people in it for the right reasons. Um, it's up to them where they buy. And they've got to hunt and they've got to search. And it tends to be, let's be honest, it's places up north. You know, I've, people have been buying near County Durham, in Blackpool, in Morecambe. Uh, actually, in Wales, in South Wales as well, we've had a few properties there. So it's been very diverse about where people have been buying. Sounds flipping brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to use that. <laughs> we gave you a programme you wanted and a, and a pun. And a strap uh, line. Brilliant. Thank you very George, much. George, thank you so much. It sounds fascinating. And George Clark's Flipping Fast uh, starts tonight, 9 o'clock, Channel 4 and all four.